Welcome to the 401 Games unboxing for Aether Revolt. Very excited to see what we're going to pull today. Aether Revolt, very exciting set, follow up to Kaladesh, so could even be some masterpieces. Ooh, be very excited for that. Let's find out. This is a convenient recycling bin right there. I'll be All right, Maya, are you calling masterpiece in your box? Totally having an invention in my box. All right, this one I'm calling uh, Sphere of Resistance. That's, that's what I'm really looking for. I want to see that. I'm wanting to see a Platinum Angel because I collect those, and if I can pull one of those, I'd be very excited about that. All right. First pack, we'll just sort of skim through the commons here. Uncommon, some interesting ones, some Hornets and such. Ooh, Exquisite Archangel and oh, a Foundry Assembler and Foil. This is where I have to go <laughs> and immediately get Envy because of that. I just you got a uh, Dark Intimations. Thank you very much, Magic. Dark Intimations, <laughs> uh, one of the multicolored. Very cool. Cool. Mori eels, some dwarves, lots of dwarves in these sets. Good to see them back. Trophy mage, that's kind of cool. Monstrous onslaught. Ooh, Baral's expertise. These are very cool cards. Uh, for example, this one has a five mana cost. You can return up to three creatures or artifacts, but then you may cast a card with converted mana cost four or less. There's a whole cycle of these for each uh, color. Very cool. I went and got a uh, Rogue Refiner, Hungry Flames, and uh, for my gold, I got a Midnight Entourage. Ooh. Very cool black. Aetherborn Lord, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Shock, nice to see Shock back in the in standard. Renegade Rallyer, this is a very cool card. Just an uncommon, but really neat. Can get stuff back out of the graveyard. Drew to the Cowl, got some Dork. Oh yeah. Dork Dork. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. I ended up going and getting a uh, Merchant's Dock Hand. Oh yeah, only cost one mana, it's not bad. Oh, and a uh, Tezzeret Emblem. Very cool. Yeah, Tezzeret and a Johnny, the big planeswalkers in this set, so hopefully we get to see them out of these boxes too. I'd be more excited for Oath of a Johnny just because I'm building uh, a Traxa, and that one gives you a plus one counter on each creature that you control, as well as you get to go and uh, do something with the planeswalkers, isn't it? They cost one less one to cast. Less. Yeah. Pretty sick. And my rare here is Gaunti's Aetherheart. Ooh, this is like another of those take an extra turn things, except you have to have like eight energy. Lifecrafter's Bestiary. I have heard uh, some real excitement about that one. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay green, and if you do, you draw a card. And many of you keep sky one, so card draw for green, not bad. And what have we got here? This pack. Disallowed. Disallow is my rare. Mm, nothing too cool for the uncommons, but this is uh, definitely one of the better counter spells they've printed recently. Counter spell, ability, or trigger ability. Oh, fantastic. Solemn Recruit was my uh, rare. Double strike and revolt at the beginning of your end step. Permanent, you controlled, left the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on this guy. So lots of bouncy, bouncy exiling opportunities there. And I like how it's left the battlefield, so it doesn't have to like go to the graveyard or anything like that. No. Neat. Gremlin infestation, trophy mage, Tuftera. Ooh, Heart of Kieran. Oh, That's mythic, nice mythic, one. very okay. nice. And I have a foil reservoir walker here too. When it enters the battlefield, you gain three life and three energy. Five for three, three. That's kind of cool. Rishkar's expertise, another green powerhouse. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control, and more card draw for uh, for green. Oh yeah. Oh, and that's the cast the five casting costs afterwards. Right? Yes, it is. The green one of that cycle. All right. What do I have in this pack here? Come on, good stuff. Rogue Refiner. Haven't seen that one. Energy based stuff. And I've got a Merchant's Dock Hand. You had one of these too, right? Yes, it is. So mine is the OG, but you seem to be getting <laughs> some pretty exciting stuff in yours. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking these. Yes, well, well, well. you may be liking these, but that means that my excitement is yet to come. I'm savoring this experience. 
Strand's expertise, uh, some servo artifact creature tokens coming onto the field. Oh, yeah, I really like that one. Because four for three one one dudes is actually already on That's card. very value. And then you've got like an extra three casting cost you can play. Very nice. Oh yeah, Ornithopter's in this set too. Nice. And my rare, Life Crafters be scary. Looks like uh, I'm going to Treasure Keepers, Sly Request Edition there, and then Aid from the Cowl. Uh, Energy token. Uh, let's see here, more Hornets, Herbalists, Reverse Engineers, Secret Salvage. Exile target and online cards from your graveyard. Search for any number of cards with the same name as that. Put them into your hand. Oh, it's kind of like a weird reverse extirpate sort of thing. So it looks like I'm going through Shielded Aether Thief, Aerial Modification, Pacification Array, and then finally Pia's Revolution. Ooh. Oh, and my top card here is Chandra's Revolution. One's common, one's rare. Uh, what do we have? What else is here? Aid from the Cowl. We're opening very similar cards. This is true, this is true. But I have a foil here. Windkin Raider. 4-3 Flying Improvise. Oh yeah, this is another new mechanic. <clears throat> similar to Convoke, you can tap artifacts to reduce the cost of the spell by one colorless. That's pretty neat. Well, I'm catching some glint at the back of my pack, but unfortunately it's just a foil common. Oh. Aether Poisoner, still pretty cool. I've been enjoying uh, some of the foils that have been coming out with the Aether. Very pretty. And uh, rare is uh, Yaheni Undying Partisan. Ah. A nice, fast, uh, black hitter. I've got Release the Gremlins. <laughs> but everybody, I'm hiding a card here because it's pretty awesome. dun da 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 Ensnaring nice. Bridge, that Bridge, sick. Bridge. Very sick. Normal Ensnaring Bridges are actually quite valuable and, and very uh, highly played as well. And here you've got the sort of Kaladesh version of it with weird arms and stuff like that. Very neat. I'm gonna put it in here, this Primo pile. We actually just realized as well that there's a couple of different foilings of uh, the inventions, aren't there? Oh, is that the whole, like, uh, whether the art is foil or not as well? Yes, or? indeed. Yes, indeed. So this one would be the traditional one, uh, or at least the one that we would expect where it foils all the way through the photo. But then there's another one that actually uh, is a matte edition. And I think that that was like a European printing. You know what? As the more I look at this, the more I, I think don't it's think the matte that, one? Yeah, I don't think there's foil on the art here. Take a quick look. You're quite right. All right, so the art further is not research foiled. will be uh, will be dealt, but that's pretty interesting. Very interesting, yeah. So my rare was a uh, Peace Walker Colossus, an artifact vehicle, and uh, for a one white and one colorless, another target vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature. Mm. So very powerful. I've got a Lightning Runner. Tons of energy-based stuff here. When it attacks, you get two energy, and you can pay eight energy. If you do untap everything, attack again like a relentless assault type of effect. Looks like my golden rare here was uh, Kari Zev's expertise. She's coming for you with her sword there. And uh, let's take a look here at the uncommons. Reverse Engineer, Reckless Racer, and Shielded Aether Thief once again. For myself, I also have a Peace Walker Colossus. And a Foil Negate. Ooh, very nice. Oh, some of my pack is upside down. Oh, that's weird. That's very weird. So here we go in the sense of, okay, life's normal, and then suddenly all of these are upside down. Very interesting magic. And a release the gremlins is the uh, that's your rare, rare there. there. I've got a Yehini, Undying Partisan. I'd like to see a foil Tezzeret to make up for that invention that you pulled. <laughs> Foil Tezzeret's in here too. No, he's not! <laughs> Shut your mouth. All right, let's see here. So we've got hidden herbalists here, a hidden stockpile, very many hidden things, an enraged giant, and oh, oh, a heart of Karen. Ooh, also. Very nice. We're gonna have to see how many duplicates we have between these two boxes, because I think it's quite a bit. Yeah, actually. And I have a Kari Zaps expertise. You have one of those too, Yes, don't I just pulled that last pack, I think. Synchronized packing. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty. 
We've got a Green Wheel Liberator as the uh, the rare here. Okay. I have a Free Jam Regent as my rare and a Foil Rare, Metallic Mimic. Ooh, lovely. That's a good pack. This is a neat one. So two colorless for 2-1. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. It is uh, that creature type in addition to being a shapeshifter. And each other creature of the chosen type enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter. Very neat for an artifact. Well, I've got the glint of foils once more. Let's see here, I've got that ornithopter there. Foundry Hornet, Monstrous Onslaught, and uh, finally a Whir of Invention for my uh, rare here. Ooh. And then a foil Enraged Giant. Oh yeah. Very enraged. I like how the tattoos are coming out on his belly. I really like this card. This is like that, the blue artifact Court of Calling. Mm -hmm. So instead of Convoke, it's got Improvise again with the artifacts reducing the cost. Very neat card. You know what, I'm thinking I'm not gonna get a foil Tezzeret in here since I got a foil Metallic Mimic. Seems like it's just- I'm thinking you're asking for oh, too much. Oh, another Whir of Invention. Ooh, okay, so we're just doubling up on here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But I've still got this fancy ensnaring bridge here. Let me just prop it up on the side. Oh my god, you just have to milk that for all. Oh yeah. I can't blame you, honestly. <laughs> all right, so we've got a Heroic Intervention Permanence you control, gain hexproof and indestructible until the end of turn. A wonderful green instant, especially with your big fatty boom booms. Yes, yes. Ooh, I have a Felidar Guardian. Again, this is just an uncommon, but this is very notable because in combination with Sahili Rai, the planeswalker from Kaladesh, you actually have an infinite combo, very uh, similar to Splinter Twin. Oh, so yes. Yeah, the Sahili, bring her back, make another Guardian. That was the, the uh, card that actually made her spike from 8 to 30, wasn't yep. it? Yep. Yeah. I've got an indomitable creativity here, a mythic. Ooh, I've got myself a foil planes here, and for myself, I white as my wheelhouse, so I'm quite pleased with that. And, uh, ooh, again, white wheelhouse, call for unity, enchantment with revolt. And they get 1-1 one, one for each unity counter on the call for unity. Very nice. Cool. Ooh, SRAM's expertise, matching up with the one you have already as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. More cuts, more cuts. Ooh, who I'd love to see is the uh, green white of Johnny. Oh, yes, I would like to see him as well. Very Yay! neat. Escape. Let's see what I have here. Ooh, fatal push. This is the. But is it foil? Oh, it is no. not. It's just non foil. But this is the big uh, uncommon from the set. Destroy a creature if it has converted mana cost two or less. Revolt, as in if something left the battlefield under your control, then it's four or less. So very, very efficient. Kind of like the white swords, or rather black swords. Very nice. And uh, for my rare, I got a uh, Quicksmith Rebel. And it enters the battlefield target artifact you control gains a uh, tap symbol. This artifact deals two damage. Whoa. So very burny. Very I really nice. like those cards that kind of like, you know, you get the feel that they're changing the artifact that you already have in play. Mm -hmm. I had an Inspiring Sanctuary as the rare in the pack with my Fatal well, Push. It's very thematic with the uh, changing of the artifacts, with the inventions and uh, yeah, exactly. how they're, modular they are. They're a bunch of rebels, they go and they tinker with something, and now it can shock. So here we have Disallow, counter target spell activated ability or trigger. Didn't you pull one of those? I did. Disallow, very nice. And a Ridge Scale Tusker in foil. Ooh. I have a Green Wheel Liberator. This one's actually really neat. It comes with uh, two plus one plus one counters if uh, another permanent left the battlefield. And you can put those uh, on, oh, just on it, yes. So it would be a four three. Very strong for two mana. Now these gremlins are adorable, ugly little puppies. <laughs> um, but I do have to feel bad about caught in the brights because I have once thought about it a little bit more. It's sort of like that gremlin is... Uh, oh no, he's gonna get run he's over. He's gonna get run over. He's gonna get caught in the wheels. Oh, well, hello there. Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. It's not as cool as your uh, invention. <laughs> However, it's pretty slick. So first I've got my golden, which is Secret Salvage, but the more hilarious and amazing is Grindstone. Oh ho ho! Shiny, shiny, wow. my darlings. Shiny, shiny. Grindstone so we, and Ensnaring Bridge. I think that that was a very successful, uh, successful pull there. Wow. And here I was pulling away from you. I was like, Ensnaring Bridge, she'll never top this. No, no, man. I got my, I got my own, and I still have the foil Tezzeret somewhere in this box to go through, or at least it's, well, it's going to be another foil something good. I have dark intimations about that Tezzeret. 
And I have an Aether Tide Whale. Kind of inter interesting card. It reminds me of Palancron. Probably not as strong because you don't get to untap all your pets <laughs> with it. But similar in some ways. And a foil filigree crawler. I do like the whales. Um, Baral's Expertise would be the uh, card that I get in blue for my rare. As well as a foil Iron Tread Crusher. Ah, six, six. All right, let's see what we have here. In this pack, I do have a Fatal Push again. Oh, very nice. Is. That's good. Some And a Midnight Entourage, another of those Aetherborn Lords. So in mine, I've got a Mythic, which is uh, pretty nice. She's got uh, the Lightning Runner, Double Strike with haste oh, yeah. and uh, Crap Your Energy. And here in this pack, I've got Oath of a Johnny. Sweet! Very nice card. Look at that, he's all like, I pledge oath to you guys. We actually what does have... he say? Until all have found their place, I will keep watch. They all say they keep watch. We actually have an oversized card that's about, I don't know, this big? Like three feet by two feet or something? Something like along that? those lines? Yeah, they sent that as a promo. Very neat. Ooh, another mythic, and I have seen this one in foil. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it looks sort of like Stargate with an eyeball motif. We've got a uh, planar bridge coming for oh, yeah. you right here. And that's when they have as a masterpiece as well, I think. Yes, they do. Um, a little bit expensive for my taste, but if you've got the mana for it, it's very powerful. Yeah, especially with this one, you could put, um, uh, what's that card? Uh, Omniscience, right? Mm -hmm. You can search for an Omniscience, put it into play, and off you go. You do have to have eight mana. I got a Quick Smith Rebel to match my eyes over there. Alrighty, so for my rare here, we've got a Walking Ballista. Hmm. Counters for days. Ballistic. I've got Battle at the Bridge. This is bigger than you, all of you, Tezzeret says. <laughs> Take a look here. So, ooh, foil rare. Foil rare, huh? Foil rare. Wow, I've got these myself, have been good boxes. Actually, very good boxes. So I've got myself a, uh, a foil tiger dragon here. Very nice. Uh, free gem regent. As well as my other rare is a spire of industry. Very nice land. Pay one life, and you can add any color to your mana pool, and you can activate this ability only if you have an artifact, which, considering the meta, you're yeah, well, to have my artifact. rare is yo, a Spire of Industry. Yo, so. but I know it's mine first, so I'm the only one that matters. Oh, I didn't have a foil. <laughs> all right, all right. Tezzeret, come on. Show We're getting your face. down there. We're getting down there. Yeah, it only got like six, six packs, packs, I think. Something along those lines. All right, let's see what the rare is here. I have got a Pia's Revolution. Ooh, but I have a foil too. And it's a Scrapper Champion. Ah, oh, sweet. This is the 2-2 Double Striker where you can pay energy to put a plus one, plus one count. I've got myself a uh, Hope of Girapur? 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 Girapur. Girapur. 1-1 oh. Flying, and what else does it do there? Uh, sacrifice the uh, Hope of Girapur. I'm probably butchering this. Until your next turn, target player who is dealt combat damage by this card, uh, this turn cannot cast non-creature spells. Oh, wow. That's for one colorless? Yeah, for a one colorless right coming here. at your face. Whew. All right, and in this pack, dun, 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 I have Hope of Gear Cooler. Lols! <laughs> Fantastic! Jeez. Okay, we are really synchronized here. Am I seeing shiny? Nah, not shiny, but I do have a mythic, so that makes three mythics so far in my wow. box, as well as an invention. Uh, maybe four mythics, actually, I haven't quite looked, but uh, it's Gaunti's Aether Heart. He's got a heart made of aether. Just like this heart. It's true, actually. <laughs> well, we are really synchronized in this front. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I have... Rishkar's Expertise. That's the green one where you can play a five drop afterwards. Ah, yes, indeed. Four more packs on my end. Yep, four over here. See here. All right, I've got a scrap trawler for my rare here, and my rare is Herald of Anguish, another mythic. 
Very nice, that, actually. Oh, and he has improvised, so this is a 5-5 five, five demon flying, and you can pay uh, one last for each artifact you have. Oh, and look at this, actually. I didn't point this out. This token is Ragavan. That's the... Monkey monkey! Yeah, the girl who attacks, and then she gets a 2-1 attacking monkey, too. I know that there were some uh, people quite coveting the monkey tokens monkey that were going to be coming yeah. out. They look great. I really like them. I've got Yeheni's expertise here. Ooh, I like that a lot. Minus three, minus three, and then you can play a three drop for four Very mana. Very nice. Really efficient. Oh, I've got more packs than I thought down here. And I have a Solemn Recruit. Two, two, double strike, revolt. I can put a plus one, plus one counter on it if something left the battle for you. I've got another Tezzeret emblem here, and uh, my rare is Baral, Chief of Compliance. Ooh, I really like this guy. I want him for my Wizards. Mono commander of wizard. Of course deck. you do. I was even thinking that he could be the commander. Right now I have Rain as the commander, and if I switch to him, then, you know, instants and sorceries, one less. It's a really powerful thing. Not to bad. And you, and you just draw cards, discard, cycle through your deck? Yep. Very powerful, actually, for blue. Let's see what I got. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that is, that's pretty Keeping oh, the oh. theme of consecutively opening the same card. And look at that, the planes. I match you planes for planes. You do. Well, I've got a foil conviction here, just a common. And then uh, we also have an Aether Goad, or Aether Geode, sorry about that. A Miner, a Dwarf Scout in the rares. Ah. Aether Geode Miner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, what have we got in this pack here? I have an Aether <laughs> Miner. Oh, wow. Surprise, surprise. Calling me shocked. They should be calling these. Well, I've got Indomitable Creativity. You mean like this Indomitable Creativity? <laughs> well, I mean like the Indomitable Creativity within my heart. Sure, I also have the Magic card as well. That, that, that. This is my last pack. I'm opening my last one. I've got three more packs to go. Apparently right. we're a little bit more quick on the draw. I'm, I'm going to save this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the last uncommon so I don't see the rare. I'm just going to save it and we'll see what you get. I'll see. Oh, I've got a Felidar Guardian, so that's uh, already pretty nice. Sram's expertise here. Oh, yeah. I yeah. swear to God, there's going to be another Planeswalker somewhere in here. That's just gonna be. It's gonna push me over the edge. You opened two of Tezzeret's emblem, so. He's got to be in here. Well, I've got only one pack. All I've got is a consulate crackdown so far. Consulate crackdown. But you know, he might be hiding the last pack. You got your last pack yeah. there. The very last pack All here. All right. Let's see it. All right. Let's see. Got a gremlin token. Got a mountain. And I've got disappointment and lies in the no. form of a Greenbelt Rampager. Greenbelt Rampager. Oh, that, actually, that's pretty cool. He's not a Tezzeret. I care not. Consulate Crackdown. All right, well, <laughs> you, can con you can crack down on my consulate that's also in here. Very yeah, good. But I didn't get one of these Rampagers. Somebody was telling me, I always forget, but like when you uh, uh, crew a vehicle, you can do it at instant speed. Mm -hmm. So with something like this, you put it into play, and then it would normally bounce if you don't have the two energy. You crew your vehicle, and then it bounces, and you've still got an energy left over. And it's still value. Yeah. It's just a one cost anyway. It's and because it has three power, it can actually crew a lot of different vehicles. Very nice, very nice. You know what? Looking at these, I have six mythics from this box. And an invention. And like, an invention. What the heck? I got one mythic, two mythics, three, four. That's already stupid. Uh, five. Five mythics. Yeah, I've got five mythics Ooh. all together and an invention. So that is not too shabby. And you have a foil rare as well, right? Uh, yes, I do. I have a foil rare in the form of Free Jam. Yeah, Free Jam. Okay, and I've got this metallic mimic over here. So these boxes turned out to be really nice. Five or six mythics, you know, a whole ton of rares. You got your foil rare. And these. These guys. Right? Ooh, let me see if the foil goes through your art here. No, your art also looks like it's non-foil. All right, so there is some kind of a, a small discrepancy there. Yeah, I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but just as you kind of turn it, you can see the foiling going through everything else, but then not the artwork. And I think that's the same for this ensnaring bridge too. It just looks kind of matte. It doesn't mm -hmm. have the same foiling. 
All right, so we've laid out all of our cards here. This is my box, this is Maya's box. Everything at the front here, you can see, these are the same cards that we opened. So these boxes match up very, very closely. And I have an ensnaring bridge. And Maya, which uh, wonderful masterpiece do you have there? I have myself a uh, grindstone right here. Fantastic uh, coloration in there. Really, either one of these you would be very happy to get out of a box. And I have six mythics that I got out of this box. And I got five mythics, as well as some very relevant foils, which I was quite pleased with. Yeah. Awesome box altogether. There you go. Either Revolt, coming out this Friday. Fantastic. We'll see you on the release.